Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Arabic calligraphy video tutorial today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Calc 2010 to create Arabic calligraphy. Um, I've been holding off making this tutorial for quite a long time in the hopes that I would find the latest version of Calc. Unfortunately, that doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon and I guess that we don't have any choice but to just make use of whatever the resources we have in the meantime and get the best out of them. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. And this is what you see when you first open Calc 2010. In this very first segment, I'll just show you the overview of creating Arabic calligraphy in Calc 2010. I'm going to cover the rest of the advanced features and everything else in the upcoming segments, inshallah. Let's go and get started. I'll zoom in here up to 150 and I'll delete the other, the other line here by going to edit and delete. And I'll drag this one here. I'll go to page text and add the text. Let's change it to Arabic. I'll type in here Bismillah Rahman Rahim. And click close. And I will click on this little square here and go to font size, change it to 48. I'll drag it here and go to font and choose Thuluth. The whole idea here is to just move the things around. Like I said, this is just the basic calligraphy. We'll cover the rest of the advanced features of Calc in the upcoming video tutorials. I will also have to use the rulers. I will grab one line here and the other one here. Alright, and I will need to use this tool here. I will explain what that tool does in the upcoming segments. Okay, now um, I'm done rearranging the characters here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead to uh, vowels and add some more elements. I'll change this one to 72 and I will need to shorten it. I'll just copy and paste. Yes, and do that. And paste. Uh, that's pretty much it for now and this is an amazing calligraphy let's go ahead and, and save it go to the file menu and choose save image and then draw a rectangle around everything that I want to be included in the final image and then I can save it with any name and choose the location and click save on this little dialog box enter any value in the resolution section while checking the dimensions of your image on top here
Well, that's everything for today, and we'll be talking more about these and other applications that we're going to be using to enhance this piece of art, like Adobe Illustrator, Magazine Cinema 4D, as well as Autodesk 3ds Max. My name is Muhammad Abdul Karim, and thank you once again for watching this video.